Hey guys and gals, uh, just wanted to make a quick video. Um, I guess I'll call this the rush conversation. Um, <clears throat> I got this book about rush, the power trio from Canada, uh, from my library locally, and uh, uh, really been enjoying it. It's called Rush Chemistry by John Collins, and you know, for for serious Rush fans, I know this may not be the best book by about Rush, but uh, it has been a, a an awesome inspiration for me um, for a couple reasons. Um, and here's a, a look at the cover. It's got kind of some uh, almost calculus-like uh, figures on the front um, and some reference to chemistry and uh, as I read have as I read this book I've been like wow this is um this is really inspiring because you know I've mentioned this in some other videos that when I was growing up in the late 70s and early 80s and getting involved in music for the first time unfortunately for me and the group I was hanging with it was very much tied to um, getting high drinking you know just just being an absolute lunatic because the people that we listened to for the most part you know that that was kind of what they were talking about in their songs rush was different um now that didn't stop us from getting high and drinking and listening to rush albums that was fucking awesome i love that but at this point in my life where i'm really getting into um you know music again and, and trying to hone my uh guitar skills this has been a real inspiration so i, I guess i kind of wanted to share it with people because this has, for the past like three weeks, I renewed it. I got it for two weeks and I renewed it for two more weeks. It has been driving me to practice more because of reading how absolutely dedicated these guys were to their rock and roll music. Neil on the drums, Alex on the guitar, Getty on vocals and, 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 um, and bass. And I didn't know. I mean, and I was a pretty big Rush fan in high school. I didn't know that Neil wrote all the lyrics. The drummer wrote all the lyrics and, and of course, Getty uh, sang them. So, um, anyways, I just wanted to um, kind of bring that up real quick. And I've got the uh, LTD here. Um, I don't think I've had this plugged in for a while. <laughs> I haven't been using this guitar because I've been kind of breaking in the Viper, the Viper I just got recently. And then when I picked this up again, I was like... It just is... It was in tune. It just sounds fucking amazing. Um, the LTD... I think it's a 3TB, something like that. LTD Tone Burst 3... Um, oh, TE202. This guitar is just fucking phenomenal. Anyways, um, I just wanted to kind of plug in. I haven't made a video in a while. Um, now, to go along with the Rush book, I've been reading that Rush book for three weeks now. 
and it's been such an inspiration. I saw them in high school here in San Diego, and uh, uh, at least a couple times. And then um, uh, a beloved family member got me a gift recently, um, a couple of Rush DVDs. Uh, I haven't watched this yet, but it's called R30, and I think it's their um, their um, kind of 30-year um, celebration DVD release. Uh, and I, I just... There aren't any songs that they've made that I don't like. I just see them all as really interesting um, musical creations. Uh, so R30, uh, just a ton of songs. It looks like it's like they were doing like three-hour concerts when they when they did these. Uh, so and then the other one that I just got, just watched off of Netflix, and then a beloved family member got this for me, is the documentary called Beyond the Lighted Stage, um, and. Uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, I you know I I would have watched these happily on Netflix, but a family member bought them for me, and I thought you know what, that's appropriate because these guys have been a part of my life since I was in high school, and this you know this is a way that I can support them. I don't think they're touring anymore, but to kind of throw a little money their way because you know probably the first Rush albums that I was exposed to were like Exit Stage Left and the one right before that. I don't know whether that's Moving Pictures. I think Moving Pictures is after that, but anyways. Um, I just kind of wanted to have a rush discussion with you guys. Um, I don't think you could be a guitarist and really not be inspired by, you know, the bass playing of Getty and, and, and Alex's uh, grasp of like just power, power chords and power rhythm and, 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 and really interesting and not shred style leads by any stretch, but really flavorful and really tone sensitive uh, you know, leads and things like that. And, you know, um, I've been enjoying that book. And, and, and I guess what I wanted to say was, when I get done with this book, I'm going to get another band book to read about. Because while I'm practicing and I'm reading about a, a band that's professional, I get inspired, man. It makes me want to practice more. So anyways, uh, keep a guitar in your hands. Um, peace.